No more bells and no more bobbers. What's going on, YouTube? All right, so we got a product review, and this is coming from Tac O Box. Uh, you can visit their page on Facebook or online. I will leave the links in the description. Uh, this is going to be an open box review of an item that I was actually blessed enough to win for my oldest son. Um, as a lot of you know, me and my oldest son do a lot of catfishing and a lot of fishing, period. And so I came across Taco Box on um, Facebook. And I seen they were doing an awesome giveaway, so I decided to get involved. And basically what it was, was you had to tell a story of one of your great fishing trips. And mine was based on me and my, me being able to pick up my son from California, having him here for summer vacation. And what I, I wanted to do something really cool with him. And what I decided to do was join an online fishing tournament, which a lot of you guys seen that I have been doing lately, which is connected with hookwarsfishing.com or you can find uh, Hook Wars Fishing on Facebook. And so we did the tournament, me and my boy, and we actually came out first place, and it was a blessing. It was pretty awesome. Uh, $50 was the winning pocket, and it was an actual free tournament. And so the money w really wasn't the big thing. It was more or less my son really had a great time, and um, being able to help his father and me helping him and pulling out a big win it was a really big thing for us so anyways we uh, that was the story i told for uh tackle boxes giveaway and let me show you guys what i want here Definitely need to sharpen my knife. Let's just do this. Now my son uses uh, pass pass me downs, well pass him down, uh, fishing poles and uh, fishing rod set up. And they were basically my old fishing stuff that I passed down to him. And I've always asked him if he wanted his own, if he wanted me to buy him a new one. He never did uh, want a new one. I guess he liked what he was using, which was basically my old setups. Um, but now, actually, he has himself a really nice setup. And it's brand new. Now, this isn't any just original fishing pole or fishing rod combo this actually has a bite alarm in it and what that does is basically you have no use for bells or bobbers anymore this has a built-in bite sensor basically it lights up or it has a, a beeping sensor inside of it so anytime you get a fish hooked on you get a beeping noise that will tell you you got a fish on or you got a nice bite uh it is actually windproof so you don't have to worry about your bell you know going off crazy while you're uh out there fishing in the wind and your bell is ding 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 consistently which could get annoying so um i'm on their web page now and i'm just going to go ahead and read some of the uh descriptions on it so it's water resistant design adjustable sensitivity high medium low digital readout high output speaker two long life cr2032 batteries four red high output led alerts um, it's a combo package with a balanced ball bearing uh, spinning reel with red 15 pound line and that's freaking phenomenal um, I'm gonna stop you guys here. I'm gonna get it all set up and 
I have I don't even know how to use it yet so I'm gonna have to read instructions I'll get it set up put it in a pole holder and we'll get a review on that so stay put all right guys so we are officially put together set up and we have a swim bait connected to the line um, I do want to say bear with me for I have not used this yet and I'm actually gonna run through the steps with you guys so you guys can get a visual on how it works so I'm gonna bring you guys down in here zoom you in on the button where I will be working on and let's get started so it says <clears throat> push the button to get started uh, you can hear it beep pick sensitivity high medium or low um, it has an H here M here and an L here and we'll get in further details with that um, when we do a tabletop review after we do this so right now it's on low medium let's keep sensitivity on high Wait three seconds and tap the rod. It says the amount of taps needed to trigger alarm is determined by the chosen high, medium, or low sensitivity adjustment. The smart rod takes three seconds to reset for another bite after it alarms. Four, push button and hold to turn off. So you hold the button. and it turns it off. Turn it on once again, push it. And what's cool about this is it stays on the sensitivity that you left it on. So it's on, I had it on high and it's still on sensitivity high. Um, this also has the function of lights only alert setting. To operate with light only alert, push button to turn on and continue to hold the button until it goes silent, then release button. Okay, so I think we might be in silent mode now. <clears throat> so I'll break the light, only push button to hold on and continue. Oh, I gotta hold it on. <clears throat> okay, so now we're in, yeah, so now we're in silent mode. Uh, and that's basically set up for when you do not want to uh, bother other fishermen around you at night or whatever or you don't want it going off at night and you just want to see be able to see the lights go off which are in here so you can see it now you gotta wait three seconds and you can see the lights blinking in here I hope if not I'll give you a tabletop review as well <clears throat> to turn that back on I believe you just shut it off and then turn it back on I gotta hold it, hold it off. And then to turn it back on to volume, I believe you just turn it on. And there we go again. So let's try another setting. This is setting low. <clears throat> try medium. We'll actually test it with the lure here. Let me bring you guys out. So for instance, there's my swim bait. Oh, you gotta wait three seconds, I forget. So there you have it. Very nice. <coughs> my son's gonna love this. I'm actually gonna try to get, he's back in California. I had to send him back uh, with his mom. Summer vacation's over, he's back to school now. Uh, but I'm actually going to try and get his permission to be able to take it out and maybe do some carp fishing with it or some catfish fishing and give it a shot. That way I can do a, a more in-depth review of it. Uh, let's go ahead and take this over to the table and we'll get an in-depth, in close look at the rod and the reel together. So stay tuned.
pull tap smart rod by tackle box very nice you got seven eyes give you guys a visual here just so you can get a visual of the durability of this this reminds me of a catfish rod that I actually have <clears throat> this one's actually a lot nicer you can see it's got what what I believe is the stainless steel rings inside the eyelids so it's not the plastic that tend to break on you consistently <clears throat> Now let's get into details here. This is a WM TSP 72M. It's a seven foot rod, 2.13M, medium action, 20 pound test line. Patent is US 7 934 338. The reel line capacity is 14 pounds at 165 pound or 165 yards <clears throat> if i'm reading this right i always get confused on this we'll just go six by 130 18 by 100 i always get mixed up on this i, I really get confused on this plus i'm a braid type of guy i use braid on everything <clears throat> so i really don't pay attention much to this due to the fact that braid has a thinner diameter uh, but there's your readings there you have the tackle box logo it's really light too guys you it looks like it would be heavy but this is like so light it's crazy that's one ball bearing you can see it hiding under there gear racial see if I can get to it sorry gear ratio is a 4.9 by 1 the durability on this is really amazing it feels really durable real strong <clears throat> and I've actually seen hit uh, videos of really nice sized catfish being pulled in with this so you know if you're able to pull in a catfish with a setup your setup is really good uh, here's your settings <clears throat> this is your one button operation and that is your speaker there I believe this is your access to your batteries as well you can see the screw the, the easy clicks there it is there you can see it says medium I hope you're not getting too much of a glare high and low so that's pretty much the review on this oh, I wanted to show you guys that too the light up now we gotta wait three seconds <clears throat> and there's the LED lights we'll get some outdoor review and put this bad boy to the test you guys know me I catch fish galore uh, I just wish my son was here he'll be here uh, Christmas vacation so this is his setup uh, but I do got his permission to go ahead and you know put it to use and we'll give it a shot and see how it does and come back with some more reviews so stay tuned uh, tackle box much love and respects thank you for the awesome giveaways that you do and um, I got to give you mad props on this setup it's beautiful and it's very very creative no more bells or bobbers, you guys. No more bells or bobbers. Poe tap, smart rod by Tackle Box. Yeah, buddy. Rate, comment, subscribe, and thumbs up. Make sure you guys check out Tackle Box. I'll leave all the links and the information in the description. All right, I'm up and out. Peace. Yeah, he's on. Carp? Yeah, it's carp. Fish, dude. Yeah.
I'm gonna try to go around this one here. My he's running it. Come on, oh yeah, he's coming back. <laughs> Damn, might be a cat, dude. Is he big or what? It's a little meatball. Yeah? Ah. There he goes. There he's running it. All right, I'm gonna try to drag him over here to you. He's over here to the right. He's gonna come right in front of you. See him? Here he comes. Uh. Damn. There we go. <laughs> oh, these bugs. Oh, he's not that big. He's fat, though. He's a fat little bit. Nah. Chunky monkey. Oh. Yeah, buddy. <laughs> go release him. <laughs> Nasty. Stinky. Good to go! <laughs>